Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I am your host, Chris Torns. So I got a copy of Ultima 4 from Ian Baranofsky, and I really want to try and play it on my Apple IIc. Uh, the problem is, as you know, Ultima 4 has a great soundtrack, but the Apple IIc has no real good built-in sound. So I just got a Mockingboard 4C from Ian Kim in Korea, and so I'm going to go ahead and put that in and see how it works. So the Obsolete Geek channel has an excellent review of the Mockingboard 4C, so I won't go into a lot of details about how it actually works. Uh, but I'll just do a quick overview of it. So this is a brand new board. It's from Ian Kim. And it's basically a drop-in board that sits inside the Apple IIc. And it comes with a 65 CO2. And what you do is unplug uh, your existing CPU and just plug this board in on top. And it fits in the space right above the CPU. Ian has also thoughtfully included a pair of speakers so you can actually get the stereo output from the Mockingboard 4C. So let's go ahead and we'll take apart my Apple IIc and install the card. As you may recall from some of my earlier videos, there's six screws we have to take out to pop off the case. Here, here, back here, back here, and then on the other side. You don't have to take out the four screws here because those hold on the disk drive and we're not gonna take that out. Once we've got the six screws out, we can just pop the case off. Easiest way to do it is to work from the front and recall that there's a little tab here which if you use a credit card uh, you should just be able to slide it along and pop the tab and then you can just pull it off from the back. Okay, I'll pop out the 65 CO2. So I prefer to use a screwdriver to do this. Uh, I just find that chip pullers tend to make more of a mess than they're worth. The Mockingboard 4C comes with a set of excellent instructions telling you how to install it and then how to actually use it. So the installation is straightforward. You remove the 65 CO2 plug the Mockingboard 4C in place of it, and then you plug in the speakers that it comes with into this connector here. And then you can also solder a wire that comes with it to control the volume using the Apple IIc's regular volume control. Uh, there's also outputs for an external amplifier, and that wire is in here. And then if you want to, you can disable the internal speakers then using this little mute connector here. So we'll go ahead and put it in. And just be careful when you're doing this that you line up all the pins so you're not off by one. And you can see it fits really nicely there and there's still room for my no slot clock over here. I've got the Mockingboard 4C installed and I've attached the jumper wire for the volume control and this goes over to the fourth pin over here and you just have to solder it directly onto the motherboard. Here's a short basic program. So there's a high pitched humming coming from the speakers which I think is just interference from the board. And I talked to Ian Kim about this and he's aware of the issue and suggested that maybe a couple resistors might fix the problem. So my solution for the noise interference problem was just to put a couple resistors in series with the speaker wires. And I used 47 ohm resistors and this seemed enough to uh, not decrease the volume of the sound too much but also getting rid of all the interference. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder these resistors in line with the speakers and then we'll reassemble. 
Here you can see I've got the speakers mounted down in the case. I used some hot glue in the corners just to attach it. Uh, this doesn't affect the plastic at all, so it would be easy to remove if necessary. You can also see where I've spliced in a 47 ohm resistor in line with the, res with the speaker just to cut down on the interference. And this decreases the volume a little bit, but it's not really that noticeable. And they were pretty loud to begin with, so this is fine. All right, so as you can hear, the conversion of my Apple IIc to the Mockingboard 4C was a success, and I now have stereo output from my Apple IIc for those games that support it. Uh, Ian Kim's board is excellent. The installation instructions were great, and I just had to make a couple modifications. Uh, so first of all, you have to solder a wire to the motherboard. Uh, this was pretty easy. And then there was a little bit of interference from the board itself. And to fix this, I just put a couple 47 ohm resistors in series with the speakers. Uh, other than that, it's a great board. I'd highly recommend it. Uh, Ian Kim has some instructions on how to get games working properly with the Mockingboard. Uh, because the Apple IIc normally expects a mouse card to be in slot four, for some games, you have to actually do like a poke command to get it to recognize the Mockingboard. Uh, other games, for example, Ultima 5, uh, just recognized it right out of the box. Ultima 4, uh, Ian Kim actually did a software patch and you can download that on his website. So I'll have some links in the show notes to where you can get the card. And other than that, I hope you enjoy the music from your Apple IIc. Thanks for watching.